Hello folks, today I want to share with you this script that I wrote recently. It will basically help you uh, with your workflow using Octane and Houdini. Uh, if you're using Octane with Cinema, you have this note editor and you have the ability to solo your notes to better uh, visualize uh, the data and also you can uh, solo any image texture and whatever. So I wanted to have same ability and by default uh, Octane doesn't really give you that. So I wrote this little script. You can assign this script uh, to any shortcut that you want. And so basically what it does, yes, so uh, I have this uh, cloth with OSL here. And if I visualize that, uh, you can see it will give you exact same visualization like we have in cinema you can visualize even your attributes and color correction stuff and even textures so this gives you the same ability but it also what it gives you you can select any material type and then if you had the same shortcut the script is smart enough to detect that this is not the texture or like color output but rather a bsdf output which is material and it will connect directly to the output so even you take for example the glossy material it will output this and you can change color and stuff like that so this script is really handy to install this script all you have to do is uh, put the script file that will share in the description inside of your main uh, Houdini folder then a script if you don't have the scripts folder you can just create it then Python and then uh, put this uh, octane aka octane solo node.py inside of this folder and uh, you go to your shelf uh, you can basically create new shelf or add this to existing one for example in my case I have this Z tools here and then you can create a new tool when you create a new tool uh, you have something like this you can name this whatever you want then go to script and just write down this uh, two lines of code so basically it imports the script and then runs it so that's pretty much it and then in the last tab here you can assign a shortcut in my case it's Alt Z you can choose you can press this edit button and add uh, whatever shortcut you want as I said in my case it's Alt Z there you go it also gives you this uh, info over here which is like pretty cool I think so yeah thank you for watching hope it will be helpful for you so yeah if you have any question uh, just you can ask me in the comment section thanks